Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at uh, using Sokotoa and find the missing side. Okay, so in the previous um, video that you guys would have watched, you were asked to actually label sides. So obviously you already know what uh, the, the letters O, H uh, and A mean. So O is obvious, well, opposite. Um, so I'll be, what is it? We've got two opposites here. Uh, the red one is hypotenuse. Okay, so we've got the two red ones. Hypotenuse. And the A stood for adjacent. Now, what you also have is you've got this SET. They stand for three things as well. And to find out where they are, I'll show you where what they are in the calculus. I mean, in the calculus, in the calculator. So the S actually stands for sine, C stands for cos, and T stands for tan. Okay, sine, cos, and tan. Three different functions, which in your calculator, you can find in this area here. All right. Now, different calculators have it at different um, spaces, guys, so just keep that in mind. One other thing to remember when you're working with sine, cos, tan, especially with uh, right angle triangles, is it's a really good idea to work with degrees, especially um, at the level one, um, if you're doing level one maths. But if you're doing level two or three, uh, you might, it might change the radians. But just check that your calculator is on degrees. And if you don't know how to set the, your calculator to degrees, just uh, look up one of my videos and I, I do show you how to change your calculator um, uh, to degrees. Okay, so Sokotoa, that's something you need to remember. The S stands for sine, C stands for cos, T stands for tan, and then you've got your opposite, hypotenuse and adjacent sides to work with. Okay, let's do a few examples so you can kind of get the hang of how to actually um, use this. Alright guys, in this side I'm going to look at uh, three different types of problems here, just to show you how you can use um, sine, cos and tan. So in the first question here, I've got an angle of 30 degrees, and I've got this side which is going to equal 4, and I've got an unknown side which is x. So the first step is label your sides. So the side that's opposite the right angle is going to be hypotenuse. The side that's opposite the angle itself is going to be O. And the side that's next to it is the adjacent but uh, next to the angle is adjacent but in this case the adjacent is actually not given nor is it being uh, you're asked to find what the adjacent is so and because of that I'm not going to actually use it so I look at what letters I have in this triangle I've got O and H which means I have to use the sine rule so the way you write the sine rule is like this so you have sine of um, an angle so in this case let's say theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. So if I substitute my ang angle, that's going to be 30 degrees. Opposite is x, and that's divided by 4. So rearranging this, I'm going to have 4 times sine 30 degrees equals x. And when I put this in my calculator, I'm going to get an answer of 2. So x is equal to 2. Okay, let's look at another triangle. So this time, I'm still going to have this as uh, maybe let's not work with that. Let's actually work with this one here. Okay, so we're going to call this 60 degrees and we're going to put what should we put? Should we put uh, 4 here and x here? Okay, so let's start labeling the sides. So the first thing is the hypotenuse, so opposite the right angle, that's hypotenuse. Um, Opposite the angle, well, there's nothing there, so I don't really need to worry about the opposite, which means the 4 is going to be adjacent. Now, you've got A and H, and because you've got A and H, you're going to be using cos, the cos rule. So we can write this as cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So the angle is 60 degrees, adjacent is equal to 4. Hypotenuse is the unknown, which is x. Now, in this particular case, when you rearrange it, if you cross multiply, you're going to get x is equal to 4 divided by cos 60. 
And when you do this, you should get x equals to 8. Okay? What I want you guys to notice is in the sign rule when we did it, the x was in the numerator. And because x was in the numerator, you get to multiply 4 times sine 30. But in this case, the x is in the denominator. So when we rearrange it, it's going to look like this. And this is where a lot of people actually make mistakes uh, with the rearranging. So just please check that you guys know what you're trying to look for and how you're actually rearranging it. Okay, let's do one more example. So in this case, let's make this 40 degrees. And we're going to have x here. And oh no, maybe not x there. Let's put x here. Put x here and 5 there. So with this case, we're going to start labeling the sides. We look at the first thing. It's the hypotenuse. But guess what? There's nothing there. We're not asked to find the hypotenuse, and it's not given to us. So we don't really need anything to do, nothing to do with the hypotenuse. The side that's opposite 40 degrees, well, that's this one here. So we're going to put that as opposite. And which means this side here has to be adjacent. And as you can see, the letters A and O are being used. So we're going to use TOA, which means tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. So tan 40 equals opposite, which is x, divided by adjacent, which is 5. So cross multiply, I have 5 times tan 40 equals x, which means x is equal to 5 times tan 40. You get 4. Point, well, just rounding it up, you get 4.2. Okay, so that is just some basics on how to actually solve this, guys. I'm going to do two more examples, um, or, and then maybe even get you to try a couple of examples, all right, in the next couple of slides. Okay, guys, so in this next two examples, what we're going to do is we're going to put a couple of angles here. So I'm going to call this uh, 45 degrees, and we're going to have X here. And we're going to have 5 there. And then in the second example, we're going to put this as 70 degrees. We're going to put x here, and we're going to put this as 8. Okay, so two completely different examples. How are we going to do this? First thing, label the sides. So in my triangle that's on the left-hand side, my hypotenuse is x. And my 5 is going to be adjacent because the angle, the side that's opposite the angle, which is here, but I don't, I don't really need to work it out, so I'm just going to leave it as, as it is. So I have A and H, which means I have to use A and H. I'm going to use CA, which is cos. So I have cos of the angle equals adjacent over hypotenuse, which means cos of 45 degrees equals 5 over x. And if I rearrange this, I'm going to get x equals 5 over cos 45 degrees which means x is equal to 5 divided by cos 45, which is 7.07. .07. And if you look at the second example, my, red, uh, my side that's opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse, so that's hypotenuse. My side that's opposite the angle is called opposite. So in this case, I've got O and H, which means I'm going to be using the sine rule. All right, so I've got SOH. So writing this up, I've got sine of the angle equals opposite over hypotenuse. Sine of 70 equals x divided by 8, which means 8 times 7 sine 70 equals x, which gives me x is equal to 7.52. Okay. It's two more examples there, folks. So what I'm going to do in the next slide is I'm going to write up the questions and I'm going to ask you to try it out so you guys can try and crack it and then I will show you the answers, how, how it works. All right, so we're going to have two triangles. I'm going to put this as 50 degrees, X and 8. And here I'm going to put that as 30 degrees. We're going to put X and 7. So what I'd like you to do is pause this video right now and try these questions and see if you can get the answers. 
Okay, I'm assuming you've paused it at some point and tried these questions. If you have, I'm going to show you the answers right now. So first off, the left-hand side, uh, the side opposite the right angle, hypotenuse. The side that's opposite the angle is just called opposite. So in my first problem, I've got O and H. I'm going to use SO. So sine of the angle equals opposite over hypotenuse. Sine of 50 equals 8 over X. Rearranging this, X is equal to 8 divided by sine 50. So X is equal to works out to be 10.44. Now a good thing to do is just check your answer, see if it makes sense. If I have an hypotenuse that's going to be lower than 8, then I know I've done something wrong. In this case, I've got 10.44. Looks about right. All right, so let's look at that second problem on the, uh, on the right hand side. I have not dealing with hypotenuse. So I am dealing with a side that's opposite. And of course, x is adjacent. So I've got a and o, which means I'm going to be using TOA, as you can see down there, which means tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. So tan 30 equals 7 divided by x. And rearranging this, I have x equals 7 divided by tan 30 which means x is equal to 12.12. And that's basically it, guys. Uh, so thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, pop it in the comments below. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you understood um, how to actually uh, find the missing side, given a side and given an angle. Now in the next video, we'll be looking at how to find the missing angle given two sides. Okay, thank you for watching.